Here is an overview of the final product we're going to be creating. This is a complete full dome mapper that's able to support anywhere from one to four projectors. Outside of this development version, in the delivered product, users will only ever be able to see the various UI screens and the controls that they allow. In our dome settings, we can define the amount of projectors our dome has, its size in the X, Y, and Z directions, all measured in meters. We're able to open visualizers for our dome, what our projectors are meant to be showing, as well as a 3D representation of their location in space. We're able to add more projectors, change the size of our UI screen if it happens to be smaller or bigger, and also change the resolution of our projectors. And behind the scenes, everything will dynamically update to match what is given. After the user has added projectors to a scene, they're then able to control their position, rotation, and field of view within the dome. This allows ultimate control over everything a projector can see. Regardless of the number of projectors, special calibration colors are automatically adjusted so that when our images overlap, they produce a pure white pixel. And this means you're able to tell when your matte image is aligned, regardless of what's being shown in our virtual preview. After setting up the position and rotation of projectors, we're able to adjust each of the projected image down to the finest of pixel details. We have keystoning for the corners. We have a rough pixel map for large scale movements. We have a fine pixel map when minute adjustments are required. And we have an edge mask that allows us to seamlessly blend our two edges together. We have a previewer that allows us to toggle the masks on and off in real time so that as we map, we can tell whether we're leaving enough overlap. We're able to, in a performance, black out our projectors, change where we're bringing our source footage from, as well as changing our content all in real time. We have spout input, should users want to bring inputs from external devices or games engines, and a real-time grid overlay that can be added on top of any content to aid in the mapping of visual content. Users are able to enter a performance mode that locks down their UI so they can only mute their projectors as well as changing content and content sources. It means that once a map is in place, users cannot go back and accidentally edit or adjust what they have implemented. At all times, the stages of mapping and development are all stored so that at any point users can go back and undo what has been done. This is goes across all stages of our map. This allows for unlimited control over the position of pixels and their projected output. All of this is accomplished through the complex use of 3D geometry and real-time scene capture. Inside our development, we have a real sphere that matches the dimensions of our dome that we set. We then specially apply a texture to it to give it accurate UV coordinates and cut it in half. Turning that into a 3D geometry, we're then able to capture it with a camera that we set up that mirrors exactly where our projector should be in the real world. After capturing our image, we allow the user to finally control the pixels, the ratios and the colour of the image. After processing it, we then deliver that altered image to our projector. The goal being that by using a combination of the virtual 3D scene builder, as seen in dome settings, so by aligning our projectors in the correct ratio as close to the real world as they can be, and then finally manipulating the pixels of the projected image, users are able to perfectly map any dome with up to four projectors inside of it.